Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Mini Paper Madness for the love of mini paper pads. Uh, mad about mini paper pads. Whatever you want to call it, it's all about using up these little guys, things that are smaller than 12 by 12. And I can't tell you how many years I've had this one. Well, 2016. So yeah, I can tell you. Seven years I've had this paper pad and I love it and I've used a few sheets of it, but it has all these really beautiful fall uh, patterns that are all plaid and they come in both straight um, uh, perpendicular, uh, horizontal and, and vertical, and then they come in diagonal plaids, the same pattern except diagonally. So I love that about it. So I had these leaves that were part of, I forget um, what form it was in because I did this years ago, but Jojo Kelly gave us some uh, a set of leaves that you could print. They were, um, it was printed on white paper. It was a format that when you printed it on pattern paper, it would just come out like this and you could fussy cut it. So I fussy cut these, I have since, decided I'm not crazy about that pattern. So I just used them as a pattern and put them on the backs, the back of these sheets. I just traced it out, you know, like that. And then I cut them out. So it was no big deal for six of them. And I've got these as patterns. I have several other shapes, but those were the ones that look like maples, and that's a maple tree that the kids are climbing in. I should have included this one because it's an oak, and I would really love to put some acorns on there, but being the, um, uh, <laughs> you know, being the anything goes person, you would think I could put um, acorns on a page with all maple leaves, but no, <laughs> you know, I, I can't do that. So, I'm going to start, I've cut these out and I've alternated. There are some of them that are tone on tone patterns. I've kind of alternated those with the mixed color patterns. And I've got the alligator for Allie, the bee for Barrett, and the ladybug for Katie. I've got these three little um, owls and I'm going to go ahead and, and color them by rubbing them on. Well, that's not really working. So I'm going to do it this way and see if I can get them kind of colored up in three different shades of brownish type colors. And I watched Melanie Hyatt do this on a Bramble Fox Live the other day. These are Woodies from Br Bramble Fox, and they are just adorable. These came with the October um, Fox Box kit that I subscribed to. Uh, let me use another one of these pads for this one, and I probably, I can probably use this for that one. Okay, so this is Rusty Hinge. That was Walnut Stain. And I'm using Oxides. I wondered if the, um, the little uh, embossing might show up better on, uh, with the, the, just the plain Distress inks because they're a little more uh, transparent but the oxides look just fine. I can see the detail. And that's all I wanted to, to do. Let's see what we've got right here. Let me just kind of put that on. And it's three different colors of brown and brownish orange. In fact, I'm gonna add a little more brown to this one just so that it doesn't look like a startlingly different color. I'm just adding a little shading there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of mixed media under where, or kind of where the 
the leaves are gonna gonna go and then over on this side I've kind of tried out this uh, bramble fox title and kind of put things where I think they will um, they'll go let me kind of get this on there I want to make sure this center line is straight. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to line this up with my back ground there. And I'm going to go like this to make sure that's sitting on there straight. It still doesn't look straight, but I'm going to say that it doesn't matter. And I'm doing this in this wild honey color um, because the lines are thin and I don't think it's going to, um, at least I hope, it's not going to be a just a, a real bright accent. See, it's kind of I like it. it it's kind of graduated. It gets it's more intense at the middle. So here I'm going to line it up with the edge and then I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to get it as high up as I can. And that's probably going to get covered up by leaves and or photos or both. But I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to do this now. It's not exactly the same. Um, placement above and below, but I'm hoping that the the placement doesn't, it won't show by the time I add all the other stuff on. Okay, I like that. And there's a little bit going on right there, but the leaves are going to co cover that. So we'll put that aside. And now, I'm going to start placing leaves. What I've done is put the foam tape on the back, supporting the stem, but leaving the end of the leaf open because that's kind of where I'm going to insert the photos. Let's see. This is, a, is one that goes down here. And I want the stems to fit on the page. So I'm just going to put that like that. And then this one, I will kind of scooch under and kind of interlock those leaves. Or should I do this? I'll have it come like that. And then what I can do is kind of curl these guys and, and adjust them that way. Now I'm going to put this one like so, just to get the placement right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that one there. And then I'm going to do the blue one. Do I want it under or over? Let's do it over. And we'll do it like
like so, and then we'll do this one there. I This is my least favorite of the plaids, so I'm going to try to stick it down under and let these two kind of get more air time here. Let's try to do it this way. And I'll do that. Okay, now what I want to do is kind of shape the leaves and then maybe, well, let's get the photos placed and then and I'm gonna put the two girls on the outside. Let's see, we can do Allie like so and Barrett maybe like that, and then Katie here. How about if we do all of the kids at the same angle, just different distances out. And Katie has to be out kind of like so, I think that's going to work. I've got this little alligator that needs to kind of go on top of Allie, so I need to maybe bring them down a little bit to get have room for that for hers. Okay, I'm just going to commit, and you see how little of that is going to actually show when we get down to it. Let's go that way. And then Barrett will be out a little farther. And I can curl these leaves. I just scrapbooked another Christmas picture with Barrett wearing that same shirt. And I think it's gonna come out after this one, so. So that's out that much. I'll try to make this one come out about that same amount. Okay, now let's get this on. Allie's photo. And gosh, my watch is out of battery. My battery is at 4%. And that's really bad because it'll be the third time I've charged it today. I think it's time for a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna put her little owl maybe right here next to the alligator. Or do I want this one without the wing extending out? Or do I want to put the little owls down lower, let's say. Yeah, I kind of like that better. So, I'm gonna pull tape there. And it'll look like it's sitting on that mat. I matted the photos, uh, the first in white, and then in uh, the gold, this gold color that's a piece of paper I've been working on for a while. <laughs> I've used it all for mats or something. Okay, there. 
and there. And then I will put the B, Barrett's B, kind of right here. And Katie's ladybug. Uh, let's see. I could put it there. Okay. So I've got that, the photos done and got them on there. So let's kind of curl the leaves and I'm going to put some of the thick foam, the thickest foam I have. Um, under to make to prop them up so we, we can really separate get some separation in the leaves so I've got this one that needs to be separated from those and I'm really gonna just not even gonna put the I'm not gonna take the backing off the adhesive there this Kind of needs to be separated from that, that one. And this needs to be separated from the brown. So we'll do that. And they're kind of curling up. Curl that, curl the brown. I like that. Um, I think it's it's looking nice. Now this is just going to be a simple. Um, I, I want to put it away from the edge so you can see the little um, little guys there. Let me put that away. That's going to go right there, and then I'm gonna put this a little bit farther down so that it's not completely, perfectly lined up. And now I'm gonna do Life's a Hoot kind of right extending off of that. And then I have some other pieces, like I said, there's a, there are some acorns. I'm gonna let that be kind of at a little bit of an angle since the photos are at an angle. And then I'm gonna just have some leaves falling. There. And I do believe I'm finished. I think one thing that I would like to do is maybe see if I can do some light inking on the edges of these leaves. Not the whole leaf, but maybe for the, the that center piece right there, the part that's closest to the photo. Because I think you'll pick up on it and you won't notice that it's not over the entire leaf. And it's just a little hint to kind of differentiate it from the white background. Let me get this one down there, and then let me get this one. 
Okay. I think that that adds just a little bit of pizzazz. Let me get this brown one even because the the cut edges, the reverse side of that paper was was white and the edges are white, so I can at least get rid of that. Okay, and I think we're done. I was inspired to do this with the leaves by um, Morag Cuts. Uh, she did them uh, across the top and her design was quite a bit different, but I like that idea of hand cutting uh, larger leaves. I don't have a die that would cut them that big. Um, and I like, uh, and I don't, uh, as you know, I don't do uh, cutting machines anymore. I, uh, <laughs> they don't like me. And I can't risk, uh, their ire, <laughs> shall we put it that way. Okay, so I think we're done. I invite you to check out all the other videos um, of people using up their uh, six by six and six by eight and four by four and eight by eight, all those um, paper pads that are smaller than 12 by 12 and getting them used. We do this once a month and I hope you are enjoying the series and I hope you check everybody out today. Thank you for watching. Bye.